In the next section, we're gonna go over how to download applications. If you'd like to play a game on your phone, if you'd like to order an Uber, if you'd like to um, check your Facebook, those are all considered apps and they're all downloaded in one place. So first I'm gonna show you how to get to your all the apps on the phone. Then I'm gonna show you how to download new apps to the phone. So we're on the home screen. If we'd like to get to our app section, what we call the app drawer, we're going to swipe up on the home screen. This takes us to our app drawer and here we'll see all the apps that are currently installed on the phone. You'll have a couple of folders at the very top, so your Google folder, which will have all the Google specific apps, your Microsoft folder, Samsung folder, and a T-Mobile folder because it's a T-Mobile phone. Okay, now if you'd like to download a new app, you need to go to what is called the Play Store, which is this icon right here. This is the store where you can download games and um, other apps, books, things of that nature. We're gonna tap on the green button to sign in. And what it's looking for is a Google account. You have to have a Google account or Gmail account in order to download apps. If you don't have one, no problem. You would tap on the create account button right here and it will walk you through a quick process for you to create your own Gmail on the spot. I already have a Gmail, so all I'm going to do is tap in the box, and I'm going to enter my uh, Gmail address and the password, and then it will allow me to sign into the Play Store. Okay, so we have entered our account information and signed in. And it's just gonna ask us to accept a few uh, prompts, and then we'll be then we will uh, move to the Play Store, which is where we can download uh, applications. Let's say you'd like to download a slot machine app because you like to play slot machines. You can go to the top of the screen where it says search for apps and games. And by tapping in the box, it will bring up your keyboard and then you can enter um, the type of game you want to download. I'm gonna type in slots and hit the magnifying glass to do a search. It's gonna give you a ton of options. Now, when you select one, you wanna make sure this green button says install, not a price. If you see a number in that green box, it's telling you that this is not a free app, it's a paid app. A large percentage of the apps in this store are free. I always recommend find a free one first. If you can't find a quality free one, then purchase an app. So in this case, I, I see this app here. I can swipe through to look at the pictures to see if I like how the app looks. And if I like it and I wanna try it, I'm gonna tap on this green install button and it will begin to download to the phone. Now downloading generally is pretty quick. Most of the apps are not too big, so less than 30 seconds to a minute, the app should be downloaded. You will know the app is installed because once this ring fills up, you'll see a button here that will say open. That's how we'll know that the app was installed successfully. So it was just downloaded. Oh, they changed it. You say open, now it says play. So we would tap on this button and we would go right in to begin playing the app. Okay, now, one thing you'll notice, because I opened the app, I can't see my home button anywhere on the screen, but this arrow pointing up is trying to show us. All we have to do is swipe up and it will bring up our home keys, our home recent apps in our back button. So I can swipe up, tap the home button to get out of the app when I'm finished using it. Now, if I swipe up on the home screen, guess what? Swipe to my left, Here's the new app we just downloaded. This is where your apps will go once you download them to the phone. Now, let's go back to the Play Store. There's a few more things I'd like to show you. First, let's use our back button at the bottom of the screen to go back one page. So we're backing out of that app and we're gonna tap it again to get back to the main screen. There we go. 
So I just want to show you how to navigate this store because there's a lot in here and maybe you don't know what you want to download, but you'd like to see what's available. So at the bottom, you'll find some tabs. If you're just looking for games, there's a game section. There's a, you know, just general apps. There's other offers and then there's books. And then within each of these tabs, you'll have some options at the top here. So recommendations for you, top charts, which means are the most popular apps right now, apps for kids, categories. You can go through and say, I'm looking specifically for a dating app. Well, there's a section that just has dating apps. So this is how you can navigate through. Now, maybe you say, oh, I don't think I want any of these. I'm going to tap the back button to back out of this and keep looking through my list. Let's go to, oh, lifestyle apps. And then you can look through the apps that are here. So that's just a quick rundown of how you navigate the store. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button down below. If you want to learn more about this phone, check out one of the videos on the screen. And if you want to save money on your phone bill, check out the link in the description to see how you can get unlimited high speed internet for just $30 a month. Thanks again for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.